Hey guys, welcome back to another Yams BLD video. This is the final video of 2021, and this is every single figure that I've gotten in 2021. So, you can't even see all of this setup right now, but this is, I didn't even count. There's too many to count. There's way too much. Uh, so, it covers Transformers, NECAs, Bandai, miscellaneous things like SH Figure Arts, because I only have one. Jurassic World, uh, McFarlane Walking Dead figures, Black Series, and three and three quarter Star Wars. So let's just get straight into it. So I'm going to do an overview of the whole setup we have here. So we turn it this way. We have more going that way. And then this side and this whole collection of everything right here has just been updated as of yesterday so this is the absolute everything that I have that I've gotten this year so if you guys think I made any mistakes just leave them in the comments down below but like I think I counted literally everything that I've gotten this year not counted but gathered everything that I've gotten this year and put it all on my desk just for this video and I really want to get this done so I can use my desk again so let's get to it okay so starting out with Bandai I really wanted to start collecting the movie monster series so that's a lot of what my collection for Bandai consists of and I got them all this year I didn't have any Bandai prior to this year I didn't have any Godzilla or kaiju figures up to this or before this year so everything is brand new this year and that's why a lot of my collection or everything that I got this year is so big in the quantity because of how much Godzilla there is that I've collected so starting out we have Bandai Movie Monster Series by Alante in the middle that made my top 10 figures of the year video it's it made it on the list if you haven't watched it go check it out uh, Baragon also made that, which is, um, not a movie monster series. He is just the normal one. Uh, Mecha King Ghidorah, Jiger, from Gamera, actually, not from Godzilla. Angurus, I actually don't know this guy's name, I forgot it. I, I don't know Ultraman too well, I know that's Ultraman Z. That's about it. I know that's Savenger. That's about it. Don't know anything else. I don't even know what, um, I don't know, collection these two are from. I think it might be like Ultra Monster series. I, I have no clue. Same with this guy. I don't know his name either, but he's from Ultraman. I got him from uh, Zilla. So shout out to Zilla. There's going to be a lot of those in this video. So shout out to Zilla for getting me or giving me this Ultraman monster. That Bandai creation Godzilla in the back, 54 Godzilla, and yeah, that's about all my Bandai figures, at least for Godzilla and Kaiju. I, w I hope to grow a lot more bigger in this kind of area for collecting next year, and yeah, let's get on to NECA's. So this is everything that I've got that is NECA in 2021. And I'm just going to come out and say, almost all of these Godzillas are from Zilla. So thank you to Zilla for one, two, three, four Godzillas. One of which made my top ten. And you should definitely go check it out if you haven't already. Uh, but as of this one, I got that one, and it has a problem with it. But I will do a review on that one sometime in 2022, and I will address the problem. But as for the other ones, we have Ghostface back here, Ace Ventura in his, I believe it's called Shady Acres outfit, and then we have the, I believe, the AVP mold of the Xenomorph. So, oh, and then King Kong, of course. 
I can't remember. I don't think I've done a review on him, and I definitely will in 2022. So, yeah, uh, not too much going on. At, like, it's mostly just Godzilla, but I feel like last year had more of the horror figures, but I didn't, not a lot of good ones came out this year, to be honest. So I'm looking forward to the Halloween Kills Michael Myers. And there was one Jason that I wanted. I can't remember which one it is. But once I get it, I will review it. So, look forward to that. And, yeah, th these are the NECAs. They're cool. Uh, I didn't really, I wasn't too invested in them this year. But, yeah, they're all cool. Thank you again to Zilla for the majority of these. And let's move on to the Transformers. All right, so here are the Transformers I got this year. Small collection. I'm not the biggest Transformers fan, but all of these I absolutely love. So let's get into it. Um, this is the reissue of the 90s Beast Wars Megatron. That made the top 10 in my video. Go check it out once more. I'm not going to keep saying it, but here we have the Kingdom Scorponok, the Netflix... Well, would you look at that? The Netflix collection Cheetor. It's just a repaint of the newest mold. I forget which one it is. Uh, I believe this is Titan's Return Scourge, maybe? I don't know my Transformers well. I apologize to any of the fans that actually know Transformers that good. I don't know it. I got this from Zilla, so I didn't even buy that out of the package. So, yeah, and then Titan's Return Galatron. I know him. He's my favorite character, so... Yeah, um, I got these two from Zilla. Thank you. There will be a lot of that in this video. So I definitely will leave a link to Zilla's channel in the description if you have not checked him out already. He's like my right-hand man in this whole YouTube and figure collecting thing. So with that, that's the Transformers. Not too much going on. I love each and every one of these, though, for the five that are on screen. And... Yeah, let's move on to Jurassic World. All right, here's the Jurassic World collection for this year. Again, a little small compared to some of the other little areas of collecting that I've done this year. So, we have the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus, my prized possession in this little area of collecting. We have Toro. Actually, this is... Is this Toro? This is Toro. Uh, the Jurassic World Toro figure. Uh, from Camp Cretaceous. Then we have the Camp Cretaceous Ceratosaurus right here. Uh, which just came out recently, I believe. Or just hit the stores around here recently. Not only do we have some of the Camp Cretaceous figures, but we also have three of the Amber Collection figures. I'm going to be honest. Tiger Velociraptor is probably going to be my favorite out of those. But yeah. Uh, Jurassic World. Haven't bought too much into it this year. I'm really selective. All I really wanted was... Really, Spinosaurus. Good job, Mr. Samuel L. Jackson. So these are all the Black Series I've gotten this year, and this is really where it starts to get interesting, in my opinion, because the Bandai's were really the only other super interesting thing that I found on the list. Everything else was cool so far. Everything else I still love in my collection, but, like, the Black Series and the Bandai's were really the things that expanded this year, and... I got some of the figures I never thought I'd have this year, especially in those two categories. So, starting down from the front, we have the comic Darth Maul. Never thought I'd get my hands on that one. Uh, Asajj Ventress I got exactly when she came out, which is rare in these parts of town, if you know what I mean. Hasbro doesn't really equally send out everything all at once. Uh, the Armorer, I got from my good buddy Logan. <laughs> uh, you might have heard him as Crazy Dragon in a few videos of mine in the past. Uh, shout out to him. He's awesome. He's amazing. And he got me that for my birthday. So, thank you to him. It goes well with my Mandalorian. Uh, what else? We have Cad Bane, which I just got yesterday, actually. Uh, glad to have him in my collection have Gree, Wolf, and then two back here, the AT-AT and Snowtrooper. 
the ATAT driver, sorry. Got both of those from Zilla yet again, so thank you for those. Then we have Hanta. No, we have Hunter from the Bad Batch. We have this Elite Clone Trooper, I believe is what it's called. That's from the Bad Batch. I just thought it was cool because the mold. Uh, and then we have Jar Jar, which is certainly least, last and least. So, um, yeah, I got Jar Jar for $5 at Walmart on clearance. So, that's the only reason why he's a prominent figure in my collection is because of the price I bought him for. So, that is my Black Series kind of haul for the year. Um, I believe I already know one more that I'm getting. It was supposed to be a New Year's gift, but due to not being able to see one another in that time, it technically, I will receive it next year, which means that it'll be included in next year's haul for everything that I got in that year. And if I'm not mistaken, it may make the top 10 for next year of my favorite figures that I have gotten in that year. So... Um, I know that's a while, like, that's a ways away, but stay tuned because I might do reviews on them too. So that is the Black Series. Now on to Star Wars 3 and 3 quarter. Alright, so these are the 3 and 3 quarter Star Wars figures that I've gotten this year. Yet another small collection. A little bit. It's very focused, but I was tying up kind of closed areas that I needed this year. And I really like every single figure that I got. I think my least favorite would probably be ASP7, but... I did a review on him, so I will put that at the end of the video, and you can check that out. Uh, but yeah, we have Grief Karga, Carbonized Mando, thank you to Andrew for getting me that, and some others. So, let's go over them. Uh, I'm going to start out with possibly my favorite, that is the Black Series 3 and 3 quarter Tusken Raider, which is basically... TVC throwaways they pretty much put into that line. Uh, that's a great figure. It has swivels at the elbows. I don't care. That's a great figure. It's probably the best Tusken Raider I've seen. Uh, next is Moff Gideon TVC, which if you didn't know, my opinion about that figure is very negative. The appearance may seem nice, but uh, there is so many things wrong with this figure. I don't even know where to start. For one instance, let me show you one. Ready? Shake test. Boom. He has no cape. Now he looks like the scrawny man that's ready to retire. Let's get this to focus. Now he looks like a scrawny man ready to retire with one weird sword. Speaking of which, the Dark Saber. One of the most uh, iconic and like most important weapons in Star Wars. And what did Hasbro do? They messed it up. I'm pretty sure that they messed it up. I remember a video that explained right here and how this is supposed to be on that side. I don't know exactly if that's true. I don't care. It doesn't stick in his hand. Maybe it's his hand's fault. Maybe it's because this is, like, thin as hell. Either way, it doesn't stick into his hand well. And it always falls out. So, there's a lot of loose things about this figure. The cape. Maybe it's this small peg going into the bigger hole. I don't know what it is. This figure, I'm not proud about it. Review coming soon. And by soon, I'm probably going to dread it. So, how about never? Next figure. This is a very good figure. This is the Jedi Fallen Order Scout Trooper, kind of. I don't know exactly the name, but it's yeah, it's just a scout, scout Trooper with, like, extra armor and then this staff. And it's pretty cool. Then we have this Stormtrooper variant. I have no idea what it is. I just found it in a loose bag and decided to pick it up because that is a... It's one hell of a variant. I've never seen it. What are these blue arms and blue kind of belt area, I have no clue. It's not a 501st, I'm pretty sure, so I don't know what it is, I'm just glad to own it. There you go, fall over, I don't care. 
Carbonized Mando, I already said it. Thank you, uh, Zilla. ASP7 did a review on that. And then Grief Karga. Picked him up because I needed someone to go with my Mando. And honestly, this is not a bad figure at all. This is a pretty decent figure. I just have him, like, kind of holding, holding his waist area, like, just the trench coat, kind of. It's good. You get That's removable, by the way. Um, but yeah, those are my three and three quarters. Again, small this year, but, you know, hey, hopefully next year I get more. I'm really looking forward to getting maybe Montross and some of the comic uh, collection kind of three and three quarters and more of those Order 66 packs. Those are the type of three and three quarters that I'm going to be focusing on. A lot of the Legacy collection. That's a lot of the stuff that I want to get next year. So, hey, we'll see. On to The Walking Dead, another very small collection of mine. Here are my Walking Dead figures. If you're wondering why they're in some weird poses, like the governor just leaning over like that, that's because the only way that they can stand and balance is in these poses. Yeah, I'm not pleased with any of these figures. Uh, I, I was going to say that I was pleased with Rick, and that was the only one that I was pleased with. But yeah, as I was trying to set these guys up for this video, uh, I had one hell of a time. So yeah, I these figures are cool, aesthetically pleasing, like from the outside but you know when it comes to the joints these need a lot of work and I mean a lot of work not only for balancing and stuff like that but when I got this guy out of the bag or out of the box sorry my bad he had uh this is the secondary alternative head with that like the eye piece or eye patch yeah that's the alternative head so I was taking off the original head and these have to have some of the weakest and stupidest dumbbell uh, joints, whatever you want, like ball joints, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, so it snapped. And uh, I had to use a Dremel, like the power tool, to open up the hole in his neck to put to get the other half of the dumbbell out, this dumbbell, but like the other one that came with the other head. Ah, so now this is a very loose fit and you have to friction it on. And there you go. So, that's the governor for you. Let's get that focus there. Now, let's move on to Daryl. And as you could hear, Rick just fell over as well. There's the governor. Here's Daryl. Now, I'm going to let you just sit here and watch as I struggle to balance this guy for the next three minutes. Huh. What do you know? I actually did it. You know, for a minute there, I thought it would fall over. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, I'm not pleased with him. Only reason I keep him around is because, number one, he's Daryl. But he's like a crappy one that doesn't even cover his face. I, f I paid full price for this guy and then some down in uh, North Carolina on a vacation. Yeah. This guy I'm not pleased with. He comes with a shovel. What kind of goddamn Daryl are we talking about here? He comes with a shovel and then a grave. I hope it was his because this figure is garbage. More on that in the review. On to the miscellaneous figures. Sick of this thing already. And here are some of the miscellaneous figures, which means that I don't have a full collection of, like, the type of figure. So this is an SH Figure Arts. This is a Bandai model kit. I don't have multiple of those, so stuff like that. So I have the Bandai model kit, 1-6 scale, uh, Shadow Trooper. I have the SH Figure Arts Pac-Man, the Halo Infinite Master Chief, and then got this from Zilla. So, thank you to Zilla. Uh, this is a, a Funko Reaction Pinhead uh, from Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth. I have two of these because one of them that Zilla got me did not have the uh, puzzle box. So, he bought a whole other one that did have one. So, now I have two. And what I plan to do with this one, which you might see in 2022, this is the reason why I'm talking about it, is... I'm planning to customize this one with the head right here into the Chatterer. If you've ever seen 
Hellraiser, you know that the Chatterer is a pretty cool character. So I'm going to try and customize this into that. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but that would be pretty cool. And I can have both of them standing next to one another. So that concludes this, and let's get to the outro. And that, guys, was my 2021 collection of everything that I've got this year. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope to collect even more next year, if that's even possible. Uh, definitely more Bandai next year. Hope to get some good Godzilla rare figures. Hopefully more from the Memorial Box, uh, along with Gamera. Going a little easy on the Transformers. I'm not looking forward to getting a whole lot more of that. Same with NECA. I'm, I've slowed down a little bit on them. Uh, same with Jurassic World, actually. But as for three and three quarters, Black Series, I'm staying strong. And SH Figure Arts. There's some more of those that I want to get to. So staying strong with those. More reviews coming soon. And I believe this will be my first review of 2022, so keep an eye out for that in the few weeks ahead. And I hope you guys have a great new year. See you guys there. Goodbye. So, that is the Black Series. Now on to... So that is the Black Series. Now on to Star Wars 3 and 3... So that is... BUDDY!